Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to track multiple moving objects in Filmora 10. So this is a question from Joshua Jose. Uh, he wants to, to know how to track multiple objects in Filmora 10 with a box uh, moving and stuff like that. And I think uh, this tutorial will be very helpful for beginners who don't know how to track multiple objects in Filmora 10. Okay, so a short tutorial for you. So let's go to my computer. All right, so now I'm inside Filmora 10 and this is my example timeline. Uh, let me show you my timeline. So you can see that uh, I have multiple layer on the timeline. Uh, the first one is a video. Uh, the second one is also a video and the third one also a video. So they are the same layer. Uh, they are the same video on diff different layer because uh, in Filmora 10, we, uh, we have the motion tracking feature, but uh, it only lets you track one object at a time. So we have to do some, some trick here to, to track multiple objects uh, in, in a scene. Okay, so let's delete everything first. Okay, let's go back to my media. And I have a tip here uh, with my GoPro footage uh, I saw last weekend. Okay, so just uh, drag and drop it onto the timeline and keep the project setting. My project setting is 16 by 9 Full HD and 24 frames per second. And my GoPro footage is 2.7K, uh, 60 FPS. Okay, so keep the project setting. And the first thing I want to mute the audio first, so it is not annoying. I'm going to press uh, Control Shift M on my keyboard to mute the audio. Uh, let's play the video. Very nice, right? And the first thing I want to track this uh, this object in my video. Okay, so I need to move my playhead to the beginning of the clip and then activate the motion tracking. To do that, I need to select the clip and then click this button, motion tracking. Okay, so when I uh, press this button, this uh, motion tracking feature will be checked. And now we have a tracking point here. So you need to adjust this tracking point to where you want to track uh, on your video. Okay, so let's track these things and make it bigger. Just a little bit bigger like this. Okay, now we can press this button to start tracking. Okay, so just click here. Okay, uh, when it finished, uh, then we can play again to see if the program tracked the, the object perfectly or not. Very nice, right? So the first thing I want you to, to add a sticker or stuff like that, or a sticker or an, an element to this, uh, to this tracking point. Okay, to do that, let's go back to, uh, let's click OK first, and then go to the element tab here. So we have some cool things here. For example, this is a subscribe button. Maybe I can use this one. So all I need to do is to double click to download it. Finish. The next thing we want to drag and drop it uh, on the top track here, right here. Oh, I need to open this track first and then put it right here on the top track and it will be here at some uh, some position here uh, with the subscribe button okay so the next thing we want to activate the motion tracking for this sticker okay to do that we can double click at the clip again and then at the motion tracking we can click this menu and select element number one uh, to activate the motion tracking and then we can adjust the sticker to the position where we want to to track here for example i can put it right here and also i will shorten the duration of the sticker also so we are going to split it right here at this position okay just uh, just for example and now we have the first tracking point let's play it okay so it will be here now we need to activate another motion tracking to track uh, another object in my video to do that we can copy this one the clip on the timeline right click and select copy and then i'm going to press ctrl v to paste it then i'm going to move it uh, up one track uh, let's click this button to view everything first so we are going to put it right here and then uh, we need to deactivate the motion tracking on this clip 
okay to do, to do that simply uncheck this box and then click yes and now we we need to to do the motion tracking for this clip again uh, before doing that i'm going to hide all the track under it and lock it also lock them also so now we are going to check this box to activate the motion tracking again and then we are going to adjust the tracking point to where we want to track for example this position okay and now we can click this button to start tracking very nice and when it is it is finished uh, then we can add another sticker or, or text or stuff like that okay so I'm going to click OK and I'm going to add a sticker maybe I, I want to add a text so I go to title and then select the title here and also split the the, uh, the title so we have the the duration similar to the video okay and we're go, going to say object to and the phones uh, I can change the phone to something else and then okay so now we need to activate the motion tracking for this object also so we are going to select the the clip here and then select the menu and select title number 27 okay so this object is stick to the tracking point by the way we can move it to somewhere somewhere here for example and then uh, we can hide this video okay so now uh, we have one tracking point here uh, for example so this is the object but now uh, we want to show uh, both the sticker and also this text in order to do that we can hide this one uh, the video on top and then unhide this one and unhide this one so technically it is finished and here's the, the final result with the object and the subscribe button the sticker here so that is how you can track multiple moving objects in Filmora 10 and actually you can do the same with car moving or people dancing or stuff like that okay so that is easy right so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section below if you are new here consider to subscribe to my channel for more Filmora tips and tricks thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye